There are some people that God allows you to cross paths with that uh, have an unforgettable, uh, long-lasting impression on your life. Our Volunteer of the Year is one of those persons. Phil Askins is a remarkable individual. Uh, not only is he brilliant in his mind, but he's industrious and he's committed. He's self-driven and self-motivated. He's made such an impact around our church, not just in worship, but in helping to build and repair things here at the church. He is always available. He's a complete workman. He's multi-talented, multi-gifted, and we are indeed blessed that Phil is a part of who we are. So I want to congratulate Phil for being the Volunteer of the Year. We love you, and God bless you. It was around 1992-93. Uh, I joined the church about around that same time, 1992. And they were doing Thanksgiving baskets, and they were looking for volunteers, and I came in to help to do with that work with the baskets. And I thought it was fantastic to do those, to help out in the community in that way. So it was, it was great. That was my first shot at volunteerism at the church. Well, currently I volunteered Bethany of, in several different areas, primarily in multimedia. But I also help out with the ushers when they have uh, the, uh, give out the palms for Palm Sunday. I help cut the ends off for them. Uh, I work with uh, even building maintenance from time to time to help out with different things there. I'm a member of Saints Alive. Uh, I do some, sometimes with the events they have, I do the MC and so forth and help out with there. And various ministries have come up to me from time to time and asked me to do things. And I volunteer to help them out. If I wasn't doing these particular tasks, especially in multimedia, you're talking about several hundreds of dollars for someone to do the work that, uh, that I've been doing. And as I said, it's the skills that I have. I love to be able to take those skills that God has blessed me with and give that back to the church, give it back to the community. Because then in the end, end run is that the money that the church saves can then go to uh, more community outreach and help the church go further in its task to help out uh, others who are less, not as fortunate as we are. My most memorable experience and the thing that was most, uh, imp uh, how can I say, emotional for me was when I saw people get on board the soul train. Hey girl, how you doing? God bless you. Y'all go get on the train, get, get on the train. Another chance. If you're here, you're here, you need to come on back, come on. I've done work before, and as I said, uh, I get appreciation from people, you know, uh, with the work that they do. But the thing was, was that that was onesie twosies. Just to see the large group of people, the mass of people, they got on the train. It was like kids in a, pl in a, on a playground. Oh, here, new toys. They got in it, and it was fantastic. There was such a wow factor, and when they got in there, and sitting in the train and looking out the windows and waving to the people in the congregation. That was fantastic. And that really made me feel even extra special in being able to do that for the congregation. You know, the warm fuzzy that I got when I saw those people go up into the, uh, on the pulpit and get behind the train, it just, it just floored because uh, such a mass of people got such a feeling out of that. People should volunteer at the church because the church has so much work to do, and there's so many able bodies that could help get that work accomplished. And with all those able bodies, it doesn't fall on the few. Uh, I, when I was taking down the tabernacle, it usually takes me anywhere from four to six hours to take it down by myself. When I got a, uh, put a call out, and Bishop and Pastor Nick got the deacons to help me, I had it down in 15 minutes. That was fantastic. So if everyone came together, if more people volunteered, then you wouldn't have people so afraid to volunteer because they feel it wouldn't all fall on them. And it would make life a lot easier for them, less stress. So I think volunteering is a very important thing. It, and then the other thing is another a chance for you to 
uh, worship together, fellowship. Oh, you're, because you're around other people, you can share your stories, how your life, your day went. You could, they can minister to you. You can uplift. So that's another opportunity to come together other than just Bible study and Sunday worship. So the first thing that popped in my mind is that I'm volunteer of the year. I thought there were other people who had done a lot more than I did during the year, who worked harder than I did, uh, may have accomplished a lot more, who uh, ministered more than I did. But uh, I realized that someone else made the choice, a group of other people made the choice, and they looked at a lot of criteria and said, yes, I fit that criterion. So therefore, I was humbled by it, but now I want to have my family see what I do, because this helps them to see that it has a benefit, that the people, the church, it benefits them and they really get something out of it, and that the church leadership appreciates it and recognizes it. I'm thankful uh, that you've, I was chosen as a volunteer of the year. Uh, I thank everyone, I thank Bishop, especially Bishop, because he's given me so many opportunities to work here in the church, to grow here in the church. Um, if it wasn't for Bishop, I don't know where I would have been. I, and I have to, can't, can't thank him enough for all that he's done to get me to be more than what I am and my spiritual growth since 1992. Thank you, Bishop. Philip Askins, if I could think of a few words that describe Phil, they would be dedicated, committed, thorough, excellent, faithful, superman of God. Every ministry or church for that matter can use a volunteer like Phil. He took the initiative to learn every aspect of the media department when he joined us full time in 2006. His title is technical director and he can fix any issue we encounter in the media department. He knows pretty much how every aspect of the department works, which makes him a valuable asset to our team. He gave Bethany 100% before he retired and now he gives 200% since his retirement. He makes himself available for backup whenever it is required. He's covered the audio classes such as New Members, MIT, Shepherd's Class, On Point Radio, and the Harvest Pastors quarterly meetings along with Saints Alive. I don't think there's any secret in the fact that Phil will work for food. Phil's work is impeccable. He has restored cables, repaired issues, built furniture for media and other areas of the church. Most recently, the pillars, the tabernacle, the fences, and the soul train, all in the midst of taking care of his family and his parents, which are located out of state. I can't think of anyone more deserving of the volunteer of the year than our Superman of God, Phil Askins. Phil, congratulations. We love you and we appreciate all you do. Uh -huh.